Defense of Snodgrass Hill. Thomas's stand here saved the Union Army from destruction. After the Union right collapsed on the afternoon of September 20th, Major General George H. Thomas rallied all the Federals he could find and positioned them on this ridge. Determined stands by isolated Union units delayed the Confederates long enough for Thomas to throw up log breastworks and solidify his line. Confederate attacks began here on Snodgrass Hill and the adjacent ridge about 1 p.m. Time after time they threw themselves against the Union line, only to be driven back with heavy losses. About 3 p.m. the Confederates captured a section of the ridge about 200 yards in front of you. However, the timely arrival of Steedman's division on Horseshoe Ridge drove the Confederates back. That evening, Thomas safely withdrew his men. The field of battle belonged to the victorious Confederates, but they failed to pursue the Federals. Thomas's successful defense here had protected the retreating Union Army from an, from an alliation and prevented the Confederates from taking Chattanooga. <laughs>